What's up guys, Alex and Elena here, and today we show you the best sites to visit when you are in Sinaia, Romania. Sinaia is located about 30 miles south of Brasov and sits around 2,500 to 2,800 feet above sea level. It is a popular destination for hiking and winter sports, especially downhill skiing. Sinaia is a town and mountain resort in Prahova County, Romania. The town was named after Sinaia Monastery of 1695, around which it was built. The name originates from the biblical Mount Sinaia. The town is very charming and outside of tourist season maintains a very slow paced and laid back atmosphere. You will find plenty of independently owned shops and eateries that litter the center of town. We even stumbled across an outlet of sorts that sold all sorts of imported goods from, we're guessing, China. Interesting to say the least. There is also a mini mall, where you'll find your token major grocery chain, as well as a limited range of household brand stores. For those looking for some entertainment, laser tag and a cinema showing the latest blockbusters is at your disposal.
The Dimichi Gika Park was established in 1881 by Prince Dimichi Gika. Although not large, it is a very beautiful place for relaxing and people watching. Inside the park, you will also find the Sinaya Casino. It was built at the initiative of King Carol I of Romania and was majority owned by the Baron Marsai. After the communist takeover in the late 1940s, gambling ceased and the casino has now turned into an international conference center as well as a museum. We now turn our attention to Sinaya's most famous attraction, Castle Pelesh. It is a roughly one and a half mile walk from the center of town. It may seem like a short distance, but believe us when we tell you this, it is no walk in the park. You will basically be walking at a 45 degree incline the entire way up a hill. And it took us roughly 45 minutes to get there. You can also catch a local bus or a little train shuttle that we saw ferrying people back and forth from the town center to the castle. We opted to walk and get the exercise. On the way up, you can also stop by the Sinaya Monastery. Founded by Prince Mikhail Cantu Tuzino in 1695, it was named after the St. Catherine's Monastery in Mount Sinai, Egypt. Back to the grind and up the hill we go to Castle Pelesh. Pelesh Castle is a neo-Renaissance palace located on an existing medieval route linking Transylvania and Wallachia. Built between 1873 and 1914, it was constructed for a King Carol I of Romania. The grounds include three main monuments, Pelesh Castle, Pelisord Castle, and the Falsior Hunting Lodge. We were visiting on a Monday, and the castles were not open that day. So be sure to check opening days and times on their website to be sure prior to visiting.
The fee to enter the castle is variable depending on what you want to see. The first floor costs so much and then if you want to explore other floors, the price increases. There's also a fee for taking photos and videos inside. You are, however, free to roam the palace grounds at no cost. As you can see here, there is plenty to see without having to actually enter the castle. If you're lucky like us, you might even get to meet some local wildlife, like this curious red fox or this chill hound. Senaya is also a popular ski resort during the winter. But when the weather is warm, you can head up to the top of the mountain via the gondola system to admire the surrounding views or mountain bike one of the many trails back down the mountain. Not far from the town center, you can catch the Sinaya Telecabina that will take you up to the midpoint at an elevation of 1,400 meters. And from there, catch another gondola up to the highest point at an elevation of just over 2,000 meters. We definitely suggest going all the way to the top as the scenery is amazing at the highest point. It will be cold and windy so be sure to bring a jacket if you get cold easily. There isn't really a whole lot to look at at the midpoint, but there is a little secret lookout that we discovered, but we'll get back to that after we check out the top. Once at the very top, you can roam around and just admire the view from the top. It's interesting to see what it looks like when there's no snow on the ground. A huge contrast to being here when you're skiing or snowboarding for sure.
we're at the top of the mountain. It's really windy and a really cool view, awesome view. 2,000 feet. And it's really high up. And there's the ships, they're gonna go film them. Yeah, there's a, Romania still has the whole traditional sh uh, sheep herders with the, uh, what do you call those guys? The shepherds. Huh? Shepherds. It's, it's pretty insane. It's pretty cool. They usually go, I think, to the mountain for multiple days. And yeah. Stay there and then go in a couple of days, so like in a week, go back. And they don't they don't live at, in any particular location. They live out in the middle of nowhere. They're like camping mm -hmm. the entire time. Um, and what do you think they'd use the sheep? They use it for meat, probably. Yeah, milk. Um, the sheep milk, cheese, wool. wool. So we're gonna see these sheep here and show you what it's like. a little bit of chaos with the sheep and the sheep herder I think they were like starting to spread out and they weren't staying in line and he was getting mad yeah so. but I think now it's, now it's okay they didn't have long. Yeah. So. it's a lot of them it's probably a couple hundreds uh, sheep and uh, there's a couple more And as an added bonus, at the midway point, if you head north down the hill a bit from where you get dropped off by the gondola, you'll come across a small trail leading through the trees just at the fork of the road that leads to a panoramic view of Sinaya and Busteni. No one was around and we had it all to ourselves. As always, thanks for watching our video. If you found it to be helpful, be sure to hit that like button down below and please consider subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for more videos as we continue our visit in Romania.